All right, good evening to you and good morning, America. Got Mr. Lee Burbage here from Window Cleaning Magazine hello. UK. Hello, hello, hello. Where are we? We are in Ningbo, China. And Perry's got some things to show us. Thought I'd show Lee like what we haven't shown anybody else. Yes. Right? Yes. Ready for all my secrets? I am. <laughs> Tell me what you got here. So what we thought was talk filters, right? Because um, what I find is interesting about filters is that it's the necessary evil, right? That, that the industry de um, tries to mystify it and say, oh, this is the thing, this is the thing. But actually, you can't increase your ROI from getting one filter over another. And the quality of water, if you bought, if you just got a $128 DI tank or you got a $30,000 skid, your, the quality of the water is no different. It's just deionized water, that's it, yeah. right? So, so then there's all these different products that we can say, well, how do we filter the water? What's the right price to pay? Should we have DI? Should we have RO? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. You got an interview, Nathan? I don't know. So tell me about that. Well, actually, you have done the flow. Yeah. Uh, and now it looks like you're getting... We designed Wash It Pro first. Yeah. With, in conjunction with IPC. Right. Right. So now you've gone... Uh, why don't you tell me... That's another story. Oh, okay. That's no, another story. Not, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so mind so, so we went from a forty forty mm -hmm. to because I listened. I was fielding all of the the customer service yeah. stuff, and I was fielding all the questions. And so people wanted a compact system, low center of gravity, don't want it to fall over. A little bit more complex because actually, when you get it, there's a lot of more data. If, you, if you're in Florida, there's no problem getting a simplistic system. But if you're up north and the water temperature is going to drop, then the performance of the RO is going to change and the TDS is important. So obviously, you know, how well is it working and all that. So TDS meters. So we built Flow and now Flow Red as a compact um, espresso machine looking, you know, amazing owner operated type system. Yeah, yeah it's, got, it's got a beauty oh. about it, isn't it? And yes. How it's put together and how it looks. And it does. It's gorgeous. And <laughs> and then you are you still gonna sell them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's got its place in the market. Somebody's got an SUV business. Somebody's an owner operator. You know, it's got its place, and and it will be. I mean, if you think about um, iPhone eight and iPhone eleven, uh, or whatever, you know, iPhone eight is still for sale, and it's got its market, and iPhone eleven's got its market. So what we did is we built um, what's basically you know going to be called either Flow Blue or Flow Modular. And its design is just to have a 4040 and then to be modular where somebody can change it from a 4040 to two 4040s. This, this particular one we can't. We've got a new frame coming out so we can do that. So you'll be able to upgrade your system. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, so um, I mean, the IPC uh, Eagle, uh, which is a similar setup to this, yes. which is ideal for the American market because yes. they're making the water as they go. Yeah. Uh, it's popular. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a it's a it's a it's a run of the mill, you know, rugged type system. So what's different about this one? You know, it's going to be modular. So somebody will be able to buy it at nine hundred and ninety dollars, and it's all cut down. Like, won't have the hydraulic wheels, won't have the TDS meter, won't have the pressure gauge, won't have dual out. Like, so this one it'll actually run two poles, you know, from the one system. So there's there's a whole lot of things we can take off and say, okay, there it is at nine hundred and ninety dollars. It'll have a steel frame. This one's got aluminum, yeah. right? So you can make it lighter, aluminium. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, this, so there'll be a nine hundred ninety dollar version, and then you'll be able to upgrade it. And there's a cage. Do you know the cage for this? You don't. <laughs> I'm gonna run and grab one. <laughs> I'm gonna let you do some talking. Right. So um, and so we'll have a cage. And so basically, this is designed to be work worker proof. Right, you can have it so simple that just water in, water out. Looking guy. You can um, so it'll have like if you have a look at all this on the back here, mm -hmm. like it'll have RO out, right, yep. and then um, that's water in, RO out, DI in. So we just have a hose from here to here. If you want to yep. run RO only, you just run your out hose from here. If you want to run it through the DI, um, then you run the hose from there to there. Oh, obviously, it running through. it through the DI, you're going to extend your RO, uh, the life of your RO as mm -hmm. well. Is that not? Sorry. Uh, sorry. No. 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 The DI, like everything about pure water, is about DI. Mm. The DI is what's actually making it spot free, mm. as a rule. 
So the RO is actually only a pre-filter for DI. Right. So all systems are RO DI. But you know, if you could just use DI, you should just use DI. Yeah. That's right. depending if your your water quality is quite low in yeah. terms of TDS. Which yes. In a lot of places in the world, it is. Yes. Uh, I don't know. The whole what. of New Zealand almost is, right. is yeah. like it's for my my mum. I clean my mum's windows with a broom and a and a hose, right? Yeah. And because um, I didn't have any tools with me and. And it was spot free, yeah. you know, straight out of the tap. And I know in the UK, some people ha are, uh, you know, I think it was uh, further south, they have a low TDS. Right. So they get away with just using like resin, Yeah. you know, and so to produce that pure water is relatively inexpensive. Inexpensive and no need to buy a great big system and reverse osmosis and blah, blah, blah. In the UK, for me, I live in a very hard water area. Ah, so you have so to. So I have to have carbon filters. Uh, sediment filters, resin, yeah. R, um, and the RO. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's what this one is like sediment, carbon, RO, DI. Yeah. Like four stage system. Yeah. And simple, simple operation, and then you can option it up. Yeah. So, do you know how to tell a joke? Uh, you got a joke to tell. a joke. Uh, well, I run and get the roll cage for this thing. Oh, uh, knock knock. Somebody will have to answer. Uh, knock knock. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, okay. Um, 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 how long are you going to be? <laughs> uh, well, what can you tell me about this, Harrison? <laughs> well, uh, in the UK, I can tell you how to make water in the UK. And in the UK, we have our tanks fitted to a van. You can have either a static system that builds uh, that, that makes the water um, on the go 24-7. Or a lot of window cleaners, because there's a lot of small time window cleaners uh, who have small businesses, actually have their filters on their system, their tank within the van as well. I think when you're filling up uh, one of those systems with the filters on the, on, on the system, you're probably talking about seven hours to fill it. If, obviously, if you've got a static system and you know you're topping the water up 24 7 then you've got water all the time um but uh are you here yet <laughs> all right here he is so he's, 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 he's coming yeah um, I, they, nobody got the joke is there any lols no, online no <laughs> right <laughs> so this is how that's his light right yeah it's aluminum aluminium what is this, a small ladder? No, it's like, right. so basically this is, it should be up this way, and uh, it'll have nylon runners, Yeah. right? So a lot, in the, U, in the US, like a lot of guys have run out of pickup trucks, right? Yeah. And then they get a, one of these weighs, I don't know, 70, 70 pounds maybe, right. something like that, with a 40-40. So in that it's 60, 70 pounds, so then right. they want to lift it up, yeah, right? Yeah, holes there. Yeah, so that's it, so this one, We've actually changed that axle to the bottom one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll bolt onto here, and there'll yeah. be nylon runners here. So instead of lifting it, because like here's the thing from an ergonomic point of view, if you slip a disc or ping your back, you're not going to cleaning windows anymore. Yeah. Like you're out. Yeah. So I always think of all those things: carpal tunnel, rotator cuff, yeah. lower back. Um, all of those things are the things that could take you out just the same as falling off a ladder. Yeah. Right? So yeah. everybody goes, oh, you can't fall off a water pit pole, so therefore water pit poles are safer than ladders. That's bullshit. So you have to build that into the product. You have to think about, like, what are the risks? Chance times consequence equals risk. The chance could be 0 0.00001. The consequence is I can't clean windows anymore. Then your risk is you can't clean windows anymore. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's going to happen to somebody. So um, this actually came from Fish Window Cleaning and other guys who said to me, can you make it so that it's safer and easier so our guys aren't lifting it up? So here we are a year yeah. and a half later, right? So this will be a nylon runners and they'll be able to slide it up, you yeah. know, under the back of the the back of the pickup truck. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. So yeah. they call it the, the roll cage. Uh-huh. Yeah, so there you are. That's pretty neat. Saw something that nobody's seen before. That's pretty neat. Yeah, well, and that's roll an option. Cage for a water fed pulse. Yeah, but that's the an option. And then it's kind of really robust and you know kind of bust proof we we think. Alright, so then the other thing I haven't shown you. You know, because I'm a big fan of DI systems, right? Mm. And this is our existing, you know, basically you can carry, mm. you know, a DI tank yeah. on the job. And and 
This is this does exactly the same. This, this does the same job as this that. This is for your low TDS guys. Yeah, yeah, low TDS. And you can yeah. have two of them. To, we sell two at a time because yeah. you don't know when the first one's going to exhaust. You know, it's kind of sweet, isn't it? Like, like oh, here's a, here's a thing also. Is don't take that, it off. Huh? Don't take, don't it, take it off. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, what we do uh, in my vans because we manufacture the water with a static system yes. and then decant that into delivery only uh, oh, tanks nice. on our vans. Okay. But we also have a, I think it's a 14 litre little dumpy with DI in it. So right. we polish it off. Oh, on the way out. On the way out. Right, right. So this could be definitely yeah. used. As a polisher. As a polisher. Yeah, where you could deliver the delivery so, only yeah, system for the UK wanna, market as well. These, these systems here are, uh, in fact, I'm eyeing these up for really my own business right now. That's, really <laughs> right. That's, that's, that's the cartridge for DI, Yeah. right? But when you when I, if you look at the design, you just gave me a great idea, right? Because the RO out is here. You can take RO out and go through one of these, yeah, just as easily, and save this for a day you need to be mobile, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. So if this is static in your truck, then that'll do the job. Yeah. All right. So that's that's kind of sweet. It's got a beautiful balance point. We tidied this up because there's a little bit of a weak point at the top. Yeah. You know, with little fillings coming over I think out of the two of us, you're the only one that can see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can lie it on its back and you know lie it in the back of a pickup, but that's when you've got that space issue and that center of gravity issue. That's why we developed flow, right? So flow was that. So then the next thing is, if we go back to when we started, when Harrison and I, his first job was assembling, wasn't it? Remember? Yeah, assembling the Cicardis. So the Cicardis. We call it Cicardi. Do you know what a Cicardi is? If you don't know, Harrison's holding the camera. Harrison's holding the camera. <laughs> Do you know what a Cicada is? Uh -huh. Like a little animal. Insect uh, in the tree? Uh, no. You know, it kind of makes a lot of noise? No. Anyway, it's a cicada, and it's very, like, you it's very Australian. Very Australian. It's very Australian, that's why. So we called it the cicada, and we had a little cicada, the, the black prints and the red whatever, because they've all got these. Well, we, call it, we call it, well, no, because it was sediment carbon DI. Yeah, that's why we call it uh, S E C A D I. <laughs> right. Cicadi. Yeah. But the logo was a cicada, right? Anyway, another story. But that's where we started, and in that system, we had variable TDS out. So I was the first guy who challenged the it must be below TDS 10 right. to be spot free. Yeah, and I, I believe we did some sort of Mythbusters in window cleaning magazine along that same sort of line. Yeah, yeah. We, and, and we kind of, we, we, at those days we kind of got poo-hooed because we were breaking the, the mold. Yeah. But I was cleaning windows in Sydney with our Cicardis and selling Cicardis preset of TDS 50. Spot free. Yeah, but this and some guys were coming out of the woodwork saying, "Hey, you know, I do it at twenty TDS. Yes, you know, I'm still clean. You know, I get yeah. loads out of my cartridge. Yes, and yeah, and resin and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, and I, I sometimes it depends. I think uh, where they are in the world as well, because the element, the, the way the water is made yes. as well, has a the periodic has, table. Right. You got calcium, lithium, and magnesium, yeah. all dry, white, yeah, yeah, yeah. iron, dry, and that brown, might dictate and whether you, whether you get away see, with more yeah. TDS. Yeah, the spot is there, right. right? But you can't see it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. is it there? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's we've gone back to that. So everybody, we've been selling this for I don't know six years. Like everybody's got a customer of ours that's got some DI tanks like that, a pair of DI yeah. tanks. So we're going to release the the trolley for the people who want it. Yeah. Or a cart. We'd call it a cart, maybe. Right. Uh, trolley. Trolley? Yeah. All right. So the logic although, is this. Although I do know that a shopping trolley is not a trolley in America. It's called a cart. Shopping yeah, cart, yeah. is that right? It's a cart. It messages and lets us know which one it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really simple. If you've already got DI tanks or in the future, like it's not fin quite finished yet, but this is, we're still going to put some beautification on it. But basically two DI tanks and what will happen is that we've got DI only. Okay. Mix, right, right, and then no, maybe it's tap water only. Yeah. Mix, and then this is a needle valve. Right. So when you close this needle valve, oh yeah, you close this needle valve, you've got a hundred percent tap water. Yeah. As you open this needle valve, you start to mix tap water and DI water. So yeah. some of the water on the output. Through, in the output. Yeah. So what will be coming out? That you'll be. This is a variable TDS out out yeah so if somebody gets in an area and they can clean windows at tds 50 
yeah. spot free. You know, let's say it's normally two years under. Oh, no, no, very clever. Then they can just save the resin yeah. like that. If yeah. they want to have, let's say they want to use what we call the drive-through car wash method, where they wash everything. You know, because when you go through a drive-through car wash, they wash your car with bristles. Yeah. And tap water. Yeah. And then they polish it off. You pay that extra buck, right? Yeah. Or you'd pay a quid. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I can see applications in that if you're cleaning, say. In I, I refer to the UK because, you know, obviously that's my experience. But if you cleaned, uh, not a glass, but the roof of a conservatory, you wanted to use tap water, you could, you could use that tap yeah. water to clean a surface that's not glass, yeah. and then change it up to DI as yep. you work down to the glass and yep. stuff. So, yep. you know, you can throw a bit of <laughs> detergent up there or something. Yep. Like yeah. yep. There's that, and there's um, courtyards. There's just places yeah, where... Yeah, water, yeah. where you know, you can't get your vehicle in there, so you just trolley it in, like, you know, and then the variable TDS says, hey, like that's the whole thing we talked about earlier about local advice, right? You might find in Atlanta, Georgia, you can clean windows at TDS 50, and you'll find on the white cliffs of Dover, that's gotta be five or 10, you know what I mean? So yeah. the different parts of the world are gonna have different TDSs, that data, that's what we wanna capture. We wanna capture when is water spot free in your area, then you go to that local guy and get that advice. That's where this is running yeah, yeah. on And then these guys will be able to set it up and it's got all the TDS meter and they can set it up exactly what they want. Yeah. And we're away, like that. Sounds good. So you've never seen that before, right? right. It's a nice, it's a really interesting trolley design actually because it has this um, second set of wheels under there, yeah. which makes it, when you want to cart it, you want to be here, but, it, but it, it's an ugly, um, you know, you have to put your foot there and you're yeah, kind of yeah. going to heave it back, Yeah. right? So you watch this, I'm not putting any pressure on there and you can get onto the back wheels. Yeah. Yeah? So it's a really cool, and it's got rubber stoppers there so it, it won't slide down the hill when you... Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it's easy, easy to change the... Um, you want to change the DI. I'll just say 15. Sorry, yeah, <laughs> I know. He's I like... on this. He's sorry. Like, Hey, and it's easy to change. <laughs> like, you need to change the DI tanks, right? Yeah, so yeah. I'm, we've made it so that it's like incredibly easy to switch yeah. them out like that. That's good. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it. Like new stuff coming on the way through. Welcome to Ningbo. Yeah. Welcome to the factory. Appreciate you um, showing me all this, and uh, there's way more. I think I'm going to be having a look at around this factory. Like, yeah. So, um, and then you've got to join, if you haven't joined the group called The Window Cleaning Magazine on Facebook. It's got about 5,000 members, Lee's the administrator. After tonight, we'll have 10,000. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. All right, so we're signing out. We're going to go and have something to eat. Hmm. When was that, when's that, when's that going to be ready? Uh, maybe three, four weeks, something like that. And AC says hi. Oh, AC. Oh, Good AC. on you, buddy. Love you, AC. Yeah, AC makes beautiful stuff. That's yeah. soft wash systems, phantom window cleaning, yeah. right? I showed you his yeah. house today. Yeah. So he makes more beautiful than this. This looks, you know, this is worker stuff, right? Yeah. So. All right. That's good. That's good. We're a team. Goodbye. See you.